everybody, it's your boy Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at another sneaker, a little something for the summer. But before we get into that, I'd like to send a shout out to everybody that's returning back to the channel. What is going on with you guys? TF Gang, stand up. How y'all doing? Anyone out there watching for the very first time, I'd like to welcome you to the channel as well. And if you like the content that you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on your post notification bells so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And I need everyone that's watching to hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button. It helps the channel grow. It helps YouTube push the video out to more people on YouTube. Now, today, we're looking at this sneaker. Came out a month or so ago. We're gonna get into it. Little something, nothing much. Gonna be real quick, actually. You see the box. You got this box. Maybe you draw a jump man air on top. You see the label. Says Air Jordan 11 Retro Low Color White Legend Blue White Black Size 13 and the retail price was $185. Take the box top off. There's no lock stamp inside. Like trash bag paper, very noisy paper. Yes, we have the Legend Blue Lows, guys. Y'all think of these? Let's get the other shoe out of the box. Y'all go. The Air Jordan 11 Low Legend Blues. Let's jump in. of the uh, pair that Mike had in the All-Star game in 1996 in San Antonio, but instead of the high top like Mike wore, this is the low top version. However, the high top version did become available for us to buy back around 2013, 2014. Uh, let's get into this pair. This is a nice summer shoe. You got this all white basically. You have leather here on your upper. You got your white uh, lace holders right here. You have that white patent leather that is pretty much set the retro level silhouette apart from a lot of the others. Let me know if the retro level is your favorite silhouette of all time. Midsole, white midsole, and you also have that translucent icy blue material going on in the very bottom of your midsole which leads to the outsole. You got that icy blue outsole. You can see underneath here white Jordan jump man. You have that carbon fiber and that legend blue and black pattern going on here. And you also have your black herringbone traction here at the heel and here at the toe. Looking at the heel of the sneaker, you see a number 23 just like you have on the back of the eyes. And you got the Jordan Jump me in the legend blue colorway, and it is its own. More of that black, I'm sorry, of that white patent leather coming around from the lateral side. Now we're on the medial side of the sneaker. 
We got leather again on this side with the lace holders and the nylon material. Your patent leather, it completes your upper, your midsole, white midsole with the translucent icy blue. And you can get a great look at that carbon fiber right here from the side. Looking at the toe box, looking at the patent leather. Let's go ahead and get that carbon shoe tree out. You see it guys, there it is, jaw jump man, size 13, 14, nothing special here. Going on up the, uh, the tongue, you have a nylon tongue and white material, you got that legend blue patch. And if you turn it sideways, you can actually read it says jump man Jordan with the jump man logo in the middle of it. Also, it comes with the only, uh, these are the only laces that come with the white rope laces. Yep. And flip it around. You can see on the back of the uh, tongue, you have that patch. Quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. And you can see that John Jumpman Legend Blue. You got black on the back of your tongue. Black sock liner. Looking on the inside of the sneaker, you can see there's a black insert, white jaw jump man, and there's the number 25 inside, which is celebrating the 25th anniversary of the release of the original Legend Blue. And you have the sizing tag in here, man, size 13. Let's get a look at that sizing tag. Says US size 13. Production date August 26th to November. The of last year let me know what you think of this sneaker guys it's a dope sneaker it's cool for the family because it did come out in full family sizing but it just wasn't for your boy titanium feet jack side 15 in this sneaker probably look like some skis so some sneakers i have to stay away from when you got sasquatch feet shout out to all my two big cookies out there so let me know what you think of this sneaker Excuse me. Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. And like I always tell y'all, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Fee Jack, signing out.